Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher C, and welcome to this audio summary of the muscles of the gluteal region, the deep hip rotators, and the posterior thigh. There are three gluteal muscles, gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. Gluteus maximus is the largest of the three and lies the most inferiorly. It arises from the posterior gluteal line of the ilium, as well as the sacrum and the coccyx. It inserts into both the iliotibial tract and the gluteal tuberosity of the posterior femur. Its action is to extend the hip and assist in extension of the knee via the iliotibial tract, particularly from a sitting position. As it lies inferiorly, it's innervated by the inferior gluteal nerve from L5, S1 and S2. It's supplied by the superior and inferior gluteal arteries. Gluteus medius arises from the ilium between the anterior and posterior gluteal lines. It inserts into the greater trochanter of the femur on the lateral surface. Gluteus minimus also arises from the ilium but between the anterior and the inferior gluteal lines. It inserts on the greater trochanter on the anterior surface. Both of these muscles abduct the hip, and they're both innervated by the superior gluteal nerve from L4, L5, and S1. They are both supplied by the superior gluteal artery. It's worth mentioning tensor fascia lata here, as it cooperates with gluteus maximus via the iliotibial tract. This small muscle arises from the lateral crest of the ilium and inserts into the iliotibial tract. It stabilizes the knee in extension and is innervated by the superior gluteal nerve from L4, L5, and S1. Blood supply is from the lateral circumflex femoral artery and the superior gluteal artery. There are five deep rotators of the hip, which we can list from superior to inferior, as piriformis, superior gemellus, obturator internus, which runs between the two gemellus muscles, Underneath that, inferior gemellus, and finally, quadratus femoris. We'll deal with them as a group, as they have some common features, and the first four insert into the greater trochanter of the femur. These are piriformis, arising from the sacrum, superior gemellus, from the ischial spine, obturator internus, from the obturator membrane, and inferior gemellus, from the ischial tuberosity. Somewhat differently, quadratus femoris arises from the lateral ischium, but unlike its colleagues, it inserts on the intertrochanteric crest of the femur. They all act to rotate the hip laterally and assist in abduction of the flexed hip. Their nerve supply follows a pattern of named nerves. Piriformis is innervated by the nerve to piriformis from S1 and S2. Both superior gemellus and obturator internus are innervated by the nerve to obturator internus from L5 and S1. Inferior gemellus and quadratus femoris are innervated by the nerve to quadratus femoris from L5 and S1. There are three muscles of the posterior thigh, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and biceps femoris. Starting with the medial side, Semitendinosus and semimembranosus both arise from the ischial tuberosity and insert into the medial aspect of the proximal tibia. Their action is to flex the knee and extend the thigh at the hip joint. They also perform some medial rotation when the knee is flexed. They're innervated by the tibial division of the sciatic nerve from L5, S1 and S2, and they're supplied by the perforating branches of profunda femoris artery, the inferior gluteal artery, and the popliteal artery. On the lateral side, biceps femoris has two heads, the long one arising from the ischial tuberosity and the short one from the linear aspera on the femur. They insert onto the head of the fibula. Its action is to extend the thigh and flex the knee with a small contribution to lateral rotation. A rather special feature is its dual nerve supply, with the long head being supplied by the tibial division of the sciatic nerve, L5, S1, and S2, but the short head 
by the common fibular nerve arising from L4, L5, S1 and S2. The blood supply is the deep femoral artery and the perforating branches of the profunda femoris artery. One clinical feature associated with this region is the pes anserinus, from the Latin for goose web. A somewhat delicious delicacy here in Hong Kong, this term also represents the insertion of three tendons on the proximal medial tibia. The order of these muscles are, from anterior to posterior, sartorius, gracilis, and semitendinosus. This area and its associated bursa can become inflamed, particularly in runners. Finally, due to the nerve supply in this region, you may find it helpful to recap the lumbar plexus and sacral plexus. You can find the links to my summaries of these topics below in the description, just distal to the like button. Thank you, that's all, and see you next time. <laughs>